In order for our bodies to stay healthy, we must have a waste disposal system to filter our blood and clean out all the waste products. The good news is, we do have such systems in our bodies, and we call them kidneys. But the bad news is, once our kidneys are damaged, it is very difficult for them to repair themselves. Without proper care, kidneys are slowly overwhelmed, and that leads to chronic kidney disease or kidney failure. Across the globe, 10% of the population is affected by chronic kidney disease, and these statistics are getting worse because there is no cure. The only two options for patients are dialysis or an organ transplant. However, researchers believe that gene therapy may become the next treatment option for those with chronic kidney disease. Scientists have found that administering gene therapy may reverse damage in kidney cells, suggesting a potential treatment for chronic kidney disease. In one study, a team evaluated six AAV viruses, both natural and synthetic, in mice and in stem cell-derived human kidney organoids. A synthetic virus, known as ANC80, proved successful in reaching two types of cells that contribute to chronic kidney disease by secreting proteins that gum up the organ and cause irreversible damage. The results showed that the genetic material carried by ANC80 was transferred successfully to the targeted kidney cells, and the same virus was also used in gene therapy strategies to treat mice with kidney scarring. Our kidneys do have a natural ability to repair themselves, but only to a limited degree. Stem cells have the ability to convert into any type of cell in the body. A number of different types of stem cells have been tested in animals and in clinical studies for potential use in treating kidney disease. Among all the cells under investigation, a type of cell named mesenchymal stem cells or MSCs have shown the most promising results to date. Studies suggest that MSCs may be able to enhance the ability of the kidney to repair itself. Researchers investigating the therapeutic effects of these bone marrow-derived MSCs in treating kidney disease have suggested these cells may release proteins that can help kidney cells to grow, inhibit cell death, and could encourage the kidney's own stem cells to repair kidney damage. Researchers have also identified some cells in the kidneys that showed a regenerative ability. These cells, which were characterized by the expression of a molecule called CD133, were able to survive injury and create different types of kidney cells. When researchers further investigated these cells, the team found that CD133 is an important factor in helping damaged kidney cells to recover. They also found that CD133 prevents aging of kidney progenitor cells, the kind of cell needed to help grow new cells to repair the kidneys in the future. This finding opens up a number of possible lines of research, including exploring whether infusions of CD133 could help patients whose kidneys are no longer able to produce enough of the molecule to help repair damage. Hopefully, patients won't have to wait too long for these breakthroughs to bear fruits. Perhaps someday soon, we will be able to cure kidney failure with treatments other than dialysis or kidney transplants. <laughs>